Oh, what's up everybody? So, my name's Russ. I'm with rwgresearch.com. And it's been a little while since I made a video. Been doing lots and lots of things. Uh, I'm just trying to make it. So, today I'm going to show you something pretty cool. And this video should be titled something like, What are the connections for Stan's original water fuel cell? And I'm going to show you. So, everybody has seen this picture, or most people have. You can find it all over the internet. And I was looking at this, trying to find these connectors. And I know a lot of people have been trying to find these connectors. Um, and so we looked, had a lot of people look that I know. They tried to find them, I tried to find them. And I know a lot of people just tried to find these things. And I sat down one day and I just started looking at this picture. And before I tell you what these are, I want to show you my replica. Let's see if I can hold it a little better for you. This is my replica of that. Okay. And I spent quite some time trying to figure out what these things are. And I finally figured out what they are. These are exactly dimensioned and or should be awfully closely dimensioned to the original. As you can see right there. If I hold the angle just right, and that obviously is a little bigger, but you can see the the relationship between the two. Might be able to get it even better. Let's try maybe that. It's pretty close. About right like yeah, it's about right. Alright, so there you go. So you can see that I have successfully replicated that. And uh, I'm going to show you what these are. But there's the connectors. And, okay, so I'm going to show you why, why, how I came across this. I thought this was pretty interesting, so I thought I'd just show you. So, I got to looking at this picture, and got to looking at this, and the first thing that came to my mind, obviously it's a bolt of some sort with a bolt of some sort. And what caught my eye was this discoloration right here okay this discoloration and these lines okay so the discoloration in these lines I got to look and I'm like you know that looks like a bolt I've seen before and I can't you know figure out exactly what kind of bolt that is but I've seen those ridges on bolts before so I got to looking and figured out that this was a um, well I'll show you these other videos or, I'm sorry, these other pictures. We've all seen these pictures as well. I got to looking, and I got to looking right here, and I saw this shape right here. That is the back of a Allen wrench. Right here, it's hard to see, I know. But that's the back side, or that's an Allen wrench socket. This is a socket head cap screw. All right, and I'm like, okay, then how, you know, how are these in here what's this you know and that is another socket head cap screw those are two socket head cap screws together and what also caught my eye on this is this right here what's this big giant thing and I got to look and I'm like you know it looks like that's some sort of a, a solder and so I thought you know and then you kinda see some build up right here I'm like, you know, and you, you kind of see some on this one. Now, a lot of these ones that you can get good photo or good pictures of, you can't really see anything around there, but the solder might be on the inside, or he only may have soldered a couple of them. All right, so I'll, I'm just like, okay, so he silver soldered these on there and probably pressed these inside of here. You can see there doesn't look like there's any silver solder or anything, or it looks like there's some silver solder around this edge. Um, so I'm like, well, I can make that pretty easily. You just got to get the right components. So that's what I come up with. Um, and I'm going to show you where all these parts are and where they come from. Here's my pile right there of the ones I already have done and I have silver soldered. 
Some of these look much better than others. Some of these don't look good at all. I just barely got enough silver solder on that first one just to hold it in place. And then the washer, I tried to get it all the way around. These things are extremely hard to silver solder. Because you get them hot enough, you boil the uh, flux off, and then they won't solder. So it's, <laughs> it's really difficult. Drill these out. And I got my O-ring on there. So I am going to show you. See, I got to get this as well. All right, lay this out here. This is the company I bought the springs from. All right, right there. You can go to www.nutty.com, and they have really good prices on this stainless stuff. So basically, we started out with a quarter twenty, three eighths long socket head cap screw. This is stainless steel. Um, this is uh, 818 stainless, I believe. So we have here our regular socket head cap screw. All right, this one's not drilled. Now, what I did is I drilled the back side of these out to fit these in here because they were just not quite right. You can see the edge there. Just not quite right to fit the proper size thread in this. All right, so basically... I drilled the back side of this out just so those little ridges on there catch the edge of that hole. And I can press this in there and get it to stay. And I used a actual like big uh like a hand press and pressed those inside of each other. All right? So with that, you end up with one of these. Okay? This is just pressed in there. And it does stay, but I went ahead and silver soldered them anyway, just to keep them in place. Alright. So, after you drill them out, pop them in there. And then, grab yourself some washers. I do not have, oh, let me better show you what size that other one is. It's a 632 quarter inch long. That's this other, that's this secondary uh, electrical connection bolt. And you can see these fit right on top of here, real nice. The electrical connectors do. Um, I don't have the washers yet. Every washer that you'll find out there with the stainless is a half inch big. And for my application, I wanted these smaller ones. I believe these are metric, but I haven't found them yet. I only had a handful here at my house to get some of these done. I took off other things um, that I collected in the past. So that's the only problem I found so far um, is the washer. I don't have the metric standard type washer. Now the O-rings got it fast and all there's the part number for you um, probably you can probably buy those at a local store as well and then these springs um, the company that I bought these springs for or from was Jones Spring Company okay you can look that up online and the spring that I purchased bought a couple different sizes but this one is a 4009 okay that's the part number if you go to their website and look it up that's the part number you'll find these are stainless steel springs all right now <clears throat> uh, oh and then lastly the outer nut is a 632 nylon inserted locking nut okay um, again if you buy this stuff locally you could easily easily spend um, without the spring, you could easily spend five to eight dollars on one of these if you bought it locally. These are expensive parts, but since I bought it in bulk, it was much, much, much cheaper from this website. And they were good, good uh, company, ship fast. I really uh, glad that I chose them, chose them, whatever. Anyway, so there they are. Here's the ones I didn't silver solder yet. Here's the ones I've already soldered and are ready to go. I do have the cells all put together and I wanted to show you what else I did. I went ahead and surfaced the top to make it flat. Alright, so the edge, instead of trying to put an O-ring on a flat spot or a round tube, you can see that they're actually flat now with the edge. A lot better. And I went in and threaded that out and those are two different size depths. So one thing that I'll show you that I did, some of these are drilled deep and some of these are drilled shallow. And I'll give all the dimensions out on the form. Alright, so 
you can see the depth difference. This one I drilled real deep. This one I drilled real shallow. And that's because these tubes are different lengths down inside of here. So the deeper one is going to be the outside tube. Like that. And the inside one. I still got just enough in there to hold that spring in place to keep it kind of centered on there. Just I probably wouldn't even have needed to do that, but I did that anyway. All right, so grab a pair of pliers. Just have to hold it in place. So we'll tighten those down like so. All right, then insert my electrical connectors obviously one would already have these wired and then uh, put my locking nuts on there well, I'm just tighten the one but that is those electrical connectors and I know a lot of people have been looking for those including myself. I looked for a really long time and finally came to the conclusion that if we did find them they were going to be like ten dollars a piece because everything that I found remotely close was super expensive. Um, approximately the spring company you had to buy a minimum of twenty five dollar order and so that kind of sucked but other than that um, probably two bucks a piece um, the silver solder I just use regular silver solder I don't know how many different silver solders there are but I just use the normal stuff but there they are the original replicated Stan Myers <laughs> plugs so pretty cool um, <clears throat> I was pretty excited to uh, actually find out what those things were because I looked for a long time one day I just sat down and stared at those pictures and I'm like, you know, those look familiar. What are those? And uh, I had to buy a couple of different pieces and parts to find out what actually fit correct. So, uh, yeah, cool. I was excited. So most of you out there will be able to build those yourself. Now, I uh, did use my lathe to actually drill these out. So you got to hand drill and drilling these out. It might be kind of tough. It can be done, but it might be kind of tough. So there you go. Um, I will be receiving the cores that everyone pitched in to get. They will be here today, I hope. And then uh, I'll package those up, and out they will go. Um, two of these cells are going out. I'm going to keep the rest of them for a while, and then four of them might go out to a buddy to do some tests and then he'll probably end up sending them back so I want to say thanks to everyone for helping me and allowing this to even happen because honestly without everyone's help it wouldn't have happened at all donations for the screws the bolts uh, material from Chris uh, some machining from Chris some machining from Rod I mean everybody coming together to get this stuff done that's what's got to happen it's got to continue happening and um, sourcing some, uh, Alan is uh, sourcing some wire. Alan's a good buddy, he's in Hong Kong. I met him through Tin Man, awesome dude. And uh, he's sourcing some stainless steel wire and the cores. Um, and then that's for the VIC um, injector style bobbins. So yeah, lots of cool stuff going on. I'll keep everybody informed and uh, until then, I uh, might upload another video of the live show, but my test didn't really turn out. You might just watch the live show feed footage if you want to do that. You can go to rwgresearch.com, click on the Justin TV link, and it should get you to Justin TV where you can watch that rerun. Um, otherwise, just look up RWG Research on Justin.tv. All right. Have a good day, everyone. I'm going to uh, think about taking a nap. Time to go to bed. Have a good day. God bless you guys. Leave a comment if you'd like. I'll try to get back with you. I haven't responded to many emails lately. I've been trying, but there's a lot of them in my inbox. Peace and love. Have a good day, guys. See you.